This is some more basic algebra that you should have learned a long time ago. I'm sorry if I'm making you feel bad by, you know, kind of dismissing it as so easy that you shouldn't get this wrong. But yeah, it's so easy you shouldn't get this wrong. Like this is not, you're not gonna have an essay good SAT score if you don't know how to add 50X squared and 5X squared. So you need to go to Khan Academy or wherever you go to practice and learn that we combine the two coefficients, the numbers in front of the variables, so that would be 55, and then the x squared is just gonna stay as an x squared. So that is choice D and that is the answer. If you were in any way unsure of this, you could arithmetize here, pick a number for x and then use that. You could just pick something like one. Um, I don't think this is an efficient way to do it, but maybe it's a good opportunity to show you how arithmetize works, right? If we had x equals one, then this would be 50 times one squared plus five times one squared. Well, one squared is one, so that's 50 plus five, which is 55, which is what we would get as our answer if we also put x into one and all the answer choices. So if we did that for a, right, 250 times one squared, we see why one is such a powerful number here. It just makes the x's go away. So 250, 10, 45, 55, and so we have a match, and that's choice D. But you shouldn't be doing arithmetize here. It's just, I'm just using it as a way to kind of reteach the strategy in a very simple way. You just need to know how to combine like terms in algebra it's gonna be part of much harder questions later. This is just a rare one where it's the only thing the question is asking about. So hopefully you're not even watching this video because you know it. If you are, you need to do some practice to make sure that this is second nature. This is not something you should think about. This is something that should be a reflex in your algebra life.